consume about 100 ounces of water a day. And looking at these bottles, that's mm, roughly six. Happy drinking. And I'm talking water, not just beverages. So you wanna avoid things that are dehydrators in the summertime, like a lot of sodas, a lot of alcohol, you know, thing, and tons and tons of coffee because they are dehydrators. They're gonna remove the water from your system. Because your body is composed of 60% water. And that's a stat that I wasn't aware of, but um, one thing they did stress in the article is that water is a necessary component of all your body systems. So sometimes when you're feeling fatigue and you're low on energy or you're getting a headache or even a host of other symptoms, a lot of them can be solved by something as simple as water. And for me, I've noticed that um, sometimes when I get up, I notice a bit of lightheadedness and I thought it was because my blood pressure dropped too low or I needed to get something to eat because I might get a little bit shaky. And what I realized is that I was just needing water. So because I've been drinking a lot more water recently, I've noticed that a lot of those symptoms have lessened. So um, as I was reading the UW Health article, they also stressed that um, your skin is one of the most dehydrated organs in your body because your um, body tends to hydrate the internal organs first and your skin last. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and your dehydrated skin is going to feel dry, you know, tight, crepey, cracking, you know, pleasant. And wrinkles tend to be more pronounced, you know, in different areas that are drier. You know, your, your skin feels dry, you know, tight, it, itchy, and tends to be flaky. And I really hate flaky, I'll be honest. And the biggest benefit out of drinking that much more water is that your skin is softer, firmer. It doesn't feel as dry. It's less irritated, you know, less flakes, you know, more glowing so that you have that look to your skin. I tend to be kind of shiny. It's not all oil, but um, it tends to have that dewy, soft, firm feel, especially on your face. And I don't know about you, but um, my legs usually are really dry, even in the winter time. And well, especially in the winter time, I should say, and especially, and even in the, in the summer. But um, what I wanted to share with you is that some of these tips will be helpful and hopefully, you know, number one, drinking more water over time. I mean, it's not gonna instantly solve your problem just because one day you drank an extra bottle of water. If you're drinking that, if you're drinking half your body weight and consuming that much water on a daily basis, you'll notice over time, over the next week, over the next month, over the next couple months, that your skin is gonna have some major, major improvements here on your face that you'd be able to visibly you know, perceive as well as on your legs if they happen to be the driest. And I um, also wanted to let you know that coming up, um, this is something I had a little bit a little nervous to do because it's a little out of my comfort zone, but what I'm gonna, what the thing, one of the, um, a challenge, Okay, I'm a little nervous, like I said, but I'm gonna be running a hydration challenge coming up soon, and there'll be a post both here in the group as well as on my normal timeline. So if you'd like to join in on a hydration challenge and report the benefits to your body for 14 days, it's coming up soon, and probably um, on one of my Wacky Wednesday videos, I'll be talking about that. So if you wanna join in, it'll be a lot of fun, hopefully, but let's see what the benefits are. Okay, next thing. Um, you want to hydrate. First thing was hydration with water. Next thing is when you're in the when you get out of the pool or the ocean, you want to make certain that you rinse the salt water, the chlorine off right after you get out. You don't want to leave that chlorine and the salt water drying on your skin because, as you know, both salt and chlorine are extreme dehydrators. They dry out your skin. They dry out your hair. So if your hair feels like straw because you've been hanging out in the pool too long, then it's a good indicator that your skin probably feels the same way. So um, your skin may feel red, itchy, you know, irritated, extremely tight. I don't know about you, but my skin tends to turn red after too long and start to get really itchy. So again, make sure you rinse it off immediately and 
if you think about it too, if you're outside and it's a pretty sunny day, you still have to reapply your sunscreen anyways. So you don't want the salt and the chlorine on top of the sun, you know, underneath the sunscreen. So just rinse off, shower off real quick, and then reapply your sunscreen. Okay, so hydrate, you know, rinse off after being in the pool or the ocean. Next, a warm shower or bath. And instead of hot, and I don't, I don't know about you, but sometimes I really enjoy a hot bath to just relax because my muscles are sore, I've had a really rough day, and I'm sitting there sipping a bottle of water or a glass of wine, whatever. But you want to go with a warm shower instead of bath because hot baths and hot showers accelerate the dehydration of your skin and it removes more of the moisture from your skin. So um, you'll notice more dryness and then slather on more lotion trying to correct the problem. So take the warm shower in, or a warm bath instead of hot. Okay, next thing, next tip to minimize the dry, flaky, itchy feeling. Uh, what you want to do is exfoliate, you know, at the end of your shower or bath. And you want to remove the old, dead, flaky, dry skin cells. Why? Because what they're doing is they're sitting on top of, um, say this is your skin here. But what they're going to do is just kind of sit on top of it. And they're going to soak up the moisture that you're putting on. And they're going to swell and feel and your skin feel soft and amazing. But as the day goes on, you know, they just go right back to being dry and flaky again. So you're basically wasting your lotion. So you want to exfoliate that off a couple times a week to get the moisturizing, get your moisturizing lotion to the areas that need it most, the skin underneath the dryness. So, um, if you, a lot of people ask, well, is shaving ex considered exfoliation? Um, if you're using a, an electric razor, yes, it's a, a small bit of exfoliation. It's not as heavy because the razor is not pressed up against your skin. And I don't have a regular bladed razor here. I don't keep them in the house. But um, if you're using a normal razor to shave, you know, your underarms or your legs, then yes, it is a little bit more exfoliation because you're doing it every day. Um, but you still would need to exfoliate, you know, one to two times a week. And you want to use a heavy exfoliator. Um, you want to use something along the lines of um, a heavy exfoliator, like our microderm paste. And I think you can see it in there um, if you recognize the jar. I love the microderm paste because I think I've, myself and Alex usually get one jar per year and it lasts us that long. And you can use it pretty much anywhere that you have dry, itchy, irritated, you know, just flaky skin. And you just take a small bit of, mm, I love the citrus smell, but I use it a couple times a week, you know, once or twice on my face. And for me, because my legs are always itchy, so I tend to put it on there. But all that you would do is just take a small bit, as you can see it right here. And I'm not using a lot of pressure on my fingertips. I'm just doing really light circles. If you like clockwise or counterclockwise, you know, whatever is, whatever works for you. But then, you know, you want to, want to, do the, want to use the exfoliator in the shower because it is easily rinsed off at that point. You don't want to be standing in the middle of your bathroom like I was trying to exfoliate learn from my mistakes. Okay, the next thing you want to do um, with your exfoliation, once you've exfoliated, you only need a small amount, like I said. And um, the next is hydration. So you want to hydrate that skin. Now that you've just exfoliated and removed that dead layer of skin cells that were dry and flaky, you want to add some hydration. Now, I'm not talking about moisturizing lotion. There's a difference. Um, a hydrator is something that will pull in moisture from your environment. And a moisturizer is something that just traps the moisture that's already on your skin. So um, there are a few little keys that will help you add more moisture to your skin. For example, leaving your skin damp. Now, if your skin, I'll show you right now, if your skin is a little damp where you can see that it's kind of shiny, um, maybe, maybe not, but I'm just putting a little water here. But what you wanna do is, instead of drying off by rubbing, you want to just pat your skin dry so that you're leaving a lot of that moisture on your skin. 
because when you apply your hydration or your moisturizer, that's gonna trap just that extra bit of moisturize, that extra bit of um, water that's on your skin. So the next step, like I said, the next step after exfoliating and gently patting dry, I do mean gently, um, you wanna grab your, if you have hydration, I still have mine in the, the stand here, but um, the active hydration is one of the things that I use on my face pretty much every day. And you only need a small bit, probably uh, maybe a third of a dropper, which I absolutely love. And you would just, oh gosh, I didn't think I got enough out. There we go. But um, all you would have to do is just gently and lightly, because you don't have to rub this in, just gently and lightly apply it to the area. Now again, this is something that you can add to your face. And if you don't have hydration at home, um, you could then go with a moisturizer. This is our Body Essentials Moisturizer. And you can apply it lightly and allow it to sink in. It feels amazing on, I mean, I don't know about you, but I love the feel of you know, something that's very um, soft and moisturizing on my skin. But um, we do have a new product coming out that is very similar to hydration because I have a lot of I have a lot of customers that are using um, active hydration on their face, but because this is a smaller canister, it's not something that you would be able to slather all over your body. Now, for me, I don't want to put this all over my legs because it uses it up very quickly. So um, there will be a new product that should, that will be available probably October or sorry August first. We have products coming out in October too, but August 1st, it will be available to add to your cart. And if you've ever tried a sample of the active hydration on your face, or even if your hands happen to be the driest part of your body or your legs, um, our Body Replenish is what it's called. And it will come in either a free gift or a bundle. And if you wanna try it out, I do have five product tester spots available. I need to fill all five of those. And one person will win theirs for free if they are submitting to me feedback for a product review. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to give me some feedback as to what you like about it. Mine should be arriving any day, so I can't wait to see it. And no, I don't have any samples yet, unfortunately. But if you happen to live in the area around me, you know, I'll be happy to drop it off and let you have a try a sample of it. But um, like I said, it is just like our active hydration, except it's for your body. And it's in a bigger jar than this. So if you thought the microderm paste jar was huge, it's an even bigger jar. And it's about half the price. So you'd be able to use the body replenish on any areas of your body, you know, hands, um, arms, legs, feet, whatever are your most dry areas. So basically what it will do is it'll help you glow from head to toe. So if you're using the hydration on your face or the body replenish on your body. So I hope that you found these tips helpful. Um, oops, apparently I dropped my notes that came right off. So if you wanna remember the tips of number one, hydrate, drinking more and more water daily, half your body weight, um, sh showering when you pop out of the ocean or the pool, a warm shower or bath instead of hot, exfoliate one, one to two times a week if you're using a razor, two to three if you're not using a, um, a regular bladed razor, a heavy exfoliator like microderm paste, as well as then adding pat dry, I almost forgot that one, pat dry gently to leave it damp, and then hydrate, you know, add your hydrator or your moisturizing lotion at that time. So I hope that you found these tips helpful. If you did, would you please leave a reaction, uh, comment your thoughts or ask questions in the thread anytime and PM and text me if you have any questions on or any concerns or even any different needs that you have questions with. I'll be happy to help you out with that at any time. You know that I am always happy. You know, ugh, oops, it's been a long day. But uh, like I said, um, also keep in mind that any questions that you ask here in the group it is a closed group. So no one but myself and other group members can see the questions or reactions or anything else that goes on in our group because this is a private closed group. So like I said, just those members and myself would be able to see any comments or um, any questions that you have. So, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. I'm always happy to get back to you. So I hope that you found these tips helpful and tune in for 
my Wacky Wednesday video. I see a lot of you pop in usually for those. So I appreciate your help and support. And